I'm Charlie, and for my DP Visual Arts exhibition, I decided to base my pieces on something I find very close to me, uh, which is music. So through my art, I tried to essentially visualize sound in a way which I think most reflect my identity and visualizing them in very graphic and very different ways. My first piece um, is titled Dysphoria, which is named after the song of a genre of music called hyperpop. The music is very garish, it's very abrasive and very synthesized and glitchy and I tried to replicate that in a digitally chaotic way with a computer screen with a background of a moving noir gif behind layers of plexiglass which each represent a different instrument heard in hyperpop music. So for example I'll have red garish lines to represent synthesizers or uh, spiky black and purple circles to represent a booming emanating bass sound. Another piece I find interesting is my piece titled Love and Caring, um, which contrasts my first piece quite differently. So this piece is uh, based off of a song which I interpreted about emotional hardship and heartbreak. The song also has very aggressive but dark and brooding instrumentation, which I believe I portrayed through the depiction of a heart bleeding out, capturing the moment before it dies. For this piece, I actually cut and sewed pieces of canvas together to form a morbid, distorted heart, which I then coated in resin and added stilts of blood pouring out of the heart to sort of freeze this moment in time before this heart dies, paralleling the emotional heartbreak uh, I interpreted in the song which inspired the piece. So this is the first time I actually exhibited any kind of artwork in my life. Um, it was an interesting experience. It was very hard and there's many difficulties such as the wiring and plugging in of just different parts especially because I use a lot of computer-based work but overall I'm quite happy with how it turned out and I hope everyone can enjoy my work. My name is Michelle Cohen and for my DP art exhibition I chose to explore the theme of loss of innocence. So with my art pieces I am using a very colorful and vibrant uh, color palette to kind of show my my perspective of growing up and how I uh, lost my innocence like many other teenagers. For my artwork, I was largely inspired by Takashi Murakami and Lisa Frank, which you can see in my art style. So this is my self-portrait. Um, it's, uh, it's titled Funhouse Mirror because it kind of gives a distorted uh, image of myself. When I was doing this, I needed to write down all the flaws I thought I had as a 13 year old kind of going into puberty and all of that, I decided to do a caricature of myself using these laws that I thought I had. In my piece, Come Play With Us, I decided to take the cartoon characters from my favorite show as a child, Strawberry Shortcake, and add a gory twist to them. When you first look at them, they look very fun and playful and they make you want to come towards them. However, once you get closer, you realize that they've been kind of ruined. I slightly modified them to add a um, theme of drug culture in them. They were slightly changed, their eyes especially, because I um, did some research and I looked up the um, side effects of taking a specific drug. So for example, the ecstasy girl has slightly wider pupils and they are not the same size. And that is the whole um, idea of my piece, is that they make you want to come closer, but as you do, you almost get scared by how creepy and empty they are and consumed by drugs. Hey guys, I'm Scott and this is these are my pieces for uh, the grade 12 visual arts exhibition. So the overall theme of my exhibition would be um, exploring internal struggle and these anxieties um, in response to pressure and tension from the outside, for example, from society or from those around us. So in my works, there's this motif of the figure. The figure is kind of representative of the individual going through this struggle, going through these anxieties and uh, tension. The other motif that I've included in my art pieces would be the pomegranate, actually. and. The pomegranate 
sort of has this symbolism of life and fertility in some cultures, while in, for example, Greek mythology, there's this symbolism of blood and death. So I like that dichotomy right there. If we look at the pomegranate itself, there's the hard shell, the hard exterior. Also it has this uh, rather pleasant and um, edible in inside, you know, the seeds. And I want that to be kind of representing the positive ideals or aspects of life. However, this is also a sort of metaf a metaphor for confinement as these pleasant and edible seeds are confined within this hard exterior that some of these figures aren't unable to craft through. So in this piece, for example, you can see that there's both the figure, the head of the figure, and the pomegranate itself incorporated into one picture. The figure is kind of choking, being force-fed the pomegranate, which in a way is representative of the certain like ideals or pressure that's being forced onto the individual. The jumbled and stitched together aesthetic and mark making represents the chaos and disorder to the reality of this to this figure and this in turn creates this sort of um, vulnerability that I want to uh, express and emphasize on in this piece. So if you walk your way through um, this part of the gallery, you can see there's a shift from the more colorful pieces to the more uh, monochromatic pieces back there. And that's intended to give this impression of a sort of decline um, into this more desperate state where things are more negative. Here, instead of devouring a pomegranate, the figure is kind of consuming itself. And at the same time, simultaneously trying to escape this predicament. So this is more representative of the negative emotions during the struggle, kind of consuming, kind of becoming overbearing and consuming to some extent. This also creates this sort of like vicious cycle. Uh, which is kind of represented through the figure kind of um, consuming itself while also trying to escape this predicament. Um, so with the darker and more disturbing imagery, I want to have the viewer relate to these the internal struggles and the strong anxieties that the figure is going through. And to some extent, we all experience these feelings. And I do want the viewers to, as they leave the exhibition, to almost envision the struggles and feel what the figure is feeling, to have a better sense of this internal struggle that I'm trying to represent through this collection.